would wear. Our Messiah would be like that. Can't be him. We'll never go wrong. Crucifying Christ. We'll never go wrong. And of course, they stumbled right over that stumbling stone. And the things that he did was right before their eyes. Right. It was right in front of their eyes. Right. And then they still could not believe in him. Uh, yes. Uh, though he had done so many miracles before him, yet they believed not on him. They couldn't believe in him and what he was doing. Uh, that the saying of Isaiah, the prophet, might be fulfilled, which he spake, Lord, who hath believed our report? Isaiah had prophesied unto them. And he said, and this is part of the prophecy, who hath believed our report? And to whom hath the arm of the Lord been revealed? Who's going to hear it? Who's going to see it? Who is it for? Therefore they could not believe that Isaiah said again, He had blinded their eyes and hardened their heart that they should not see with their eyes. These miracles were done right in front of their eyes. Right in front of them. Nor understand with their heart and be converted and I should heal them. They should yeah. not see with their eyes nor understand with their yeah. heart. And we have occasions where withered arms were straightened out. Uh -huh. Withered arms. Have you ever seen a withered arm? And, and then, and I'm not trying to make you feel bad or anything of that nature, but I had a, uh, a math teacher. He had an arm that was about half as long as the other arm. And I look upon that as being a withered arm. And of course, it's, it can be all kinds of things. It can be all crooked up, turned around. I had a knuckle that had club feet. And, but you know, the, the Lord healed these type of things. Right. I mean, the man straightened his arm out the Lord. That's right. That's right. You know, a hey. crippled man. Mm -hmm. uh, crippled me. Blind. Yes. Right. And almost with every blindness, there was deafness. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I shouldn't tell all my stories. I don't guess, but I, I tell my mother. My mother has uh, uh, dementia. And, and she's constantly asking me things like, well, how about this part of the thing? I said, well, they, uh, one of them has died. And uh, before, well, what she died from? And I said, well, she was blind. She was, she had congestive heart failure. And she was crippled. And you can really get in bad shape before you pass out of here. You know <laughs> And, uh, and, and it doesn't, the, the prospects don't look any better even out there, you know. <laughs> yes. But I said, well, what about uh, her husband? And I said, well, he came here. Yeah. He couldn't hear and she couldn't see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she could hear a pin drop at 50 yards. That's right. And he could still see the drive. Right. <laughs> they were a team. <laughs> and I got another friend. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I actually told that story to my cousin, who my yeah. cousin is subject to the story. But uh, every one of us, we want to know the true God. Right. We want to have an understanding right here. Uh -huh. We want our minds, our hearts opened up to His Word. We want to hear His Word. Yes. Uh, we want to be able to hear His Word. Mm -hmm. Right. Well. Here he came, and they were in such a shape of unbelief that, and, and the problem uh, was not just necessarily seeing what was going on. It had a, a, something to do with obedience mm -hmm. in their hearts. It had something to do with love mm -hmm. in their hearts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These things were blocking the understanding that was to come to their hearts.
and their seeing. Oh, he had blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts. These things said Isaiah when he saw his glory and spake of him. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers, and I, I hadn't really particularly picked this scripture out before, and but among the chief rulers, also many believed. Also many believed. I always thought they were all against it. But of course, Nicodemus was a, a part of the chief group. And uh, the other man, what was the other man's name? They went with Nicodemus. And they took the body of the Lord and, and, uh, and buried him or, or you know, did something. I forgot that. But you get on your hip and <laughs> But among the chief rulers, many believed on him, but because of the Pharisees, because of the Pharisees, they did not confess. They were held back. They didn't want to, they didn't want to displease the Pharisees. So here was the problem. Mm -hmm. The chief rulers could not fully see who he was, even though they believed in the things that he did. And it's immense. Mm -hmm. I mean, the miracles that Christ did are unbelievable. They are, they are just, it's, uh, the number is so great. And things have never happened before in the history of Israel. And the culminating miracle that happened and really just upset them all, the rulers of the temple, was when he called Lazarus out of the grave. That just really, that really did. And within a week or so, he was uh, he was hanging on the cross almost, and was out Calvary. But it goes on. It says, "For they love the praise of men more than the praise of God." What was it that blinded them? Their Love of the praise of men more than the praise of God. Now, it could be other things in our lives. But whatever we, uh, you know, to get to God, we need to get whatever it is out of our life that is blocking the light from getting to our hearts. And it's been light. Christ said, He that believeth on me, believeth Believeth not on me, but on the one that sent me. You can you can look at me, you can see my works, and if you believe in me, you're not necessarily believing in me just as a man, but you're believing in me in the one that sent me. Uh -huh. You're believing in the God of the Old Testament right. who prophesied about me, right. and. Uh, I am the one that He has seen. Amen. And you're believing in Him. By just believing in me. And He that seeth me, seeth Him that sent yes. me. Yes. Uh -huh. Right. He that seeth mm -hmm. me, seeth Him that sent me. I am come alike into the world that whosoever believeth in on me should not abide in darkness. He said, I didn't come in here to judge the world right now and condemn it, but I came to save the man. This is our precious God. Yes. Our precious God. You know, when we came into the world, we, we learned the ways of the world. We, uh, we were able to manipulate around the world and see how people manipulate and this sort of thing. And uh, we can make a study of manipulation in the world and how it is. That's the world. And there's there's some uh, uh, there's types of manipulation that have you know they have wickedness behind them. They have bad behind them. Bad manipulation is the wrong type of manipulation. But you can manipulate other people a little bit. It can be good manipulation. We try to manipulate our children sometimes. It's good manipulation. 
trying to their best for their best. Not necessarily tough love, but for their best. Well, there's a secret to finding uh, the true God. It's obedience to His Word. And He wants to open up your heart and your life to the Word. And obedience. Clear out all the problems in our lives that, is keep, that are keeping us from Him. Uh, the things that are keeping us from Him. Is it, uh, I don't want to be seen by my friends coming to this church. I don't want to be seen by my friends uh, as too religious. I don't want to be seen by my friends as a nut. I want to be popular. And, uh, but I, I want to know God. We have to get all the, these are little simple problems. Little simple The devil hit me with that thought the first time. What will people think to find out you're in the church? What is, when they find out that you're in this church, what are they going to think? I'm not talking about this building, but I'm talking about what I started for God. What are they going to think? And that was just a little thing. It, it was, I said, I'm not going to die with this to block me. Satan, forgive me the Lord. I'm not going to allow it. I'm going to cast this thing aside. It still comes up every once in a while. You know, it don't do it now. But it used to. The next one down the line was when I started preaching. What are people going to think when they find out you are trying to preach? <laughs> well, there's one guy that took out down the raw road. <laughs> but, you know, we can have all kinds of little things in our lives that block our pathway into God. But if we will give our hearts and our lives unto Him in obedience to His Word, you have to be obedient to His commandments. See the Word of God? I mean, it doesn't reveal everything. You, you still have to study your head off and try to figure things out. Uh, you don't understand all things by coming to God, but you come to the one who does understand yes. all things. And He doesn't necessarily tell us all things. You know, He, he doesn't know what everything in our lives. But He's the answer to every circumstance. Yes, yes. And the blindness can be cast aside. Spiritual blindness is the worst condition we can have in our lives. Yes, and and I mean, I'm talking about to die rather than our lives. We come into the world, we don't Make a new creature. 